I do. If that. you guys don't know who Chocolate is, um, I used to work with him. He knows a lot about law enforcement. I popped his door kicking cherry. He did. I let him kick in his first door. We got a call for a guy with a knife. We heard children screaming bloody murder, and I was about to kick the door in, and he was uh, he was riding with me that day. I was training him, and I was like, wait, you want to kick this door in? He was like, yeah. Guess what happened at the shop this morning? I wasn't there. One of my employees was there. We got swatted. Somebody called in and said that there were two females hostage and there was a bomb. I told the police a month ago that I was gonna get swatted. So they walked in and were like, hey, you guys good? Looked around a little bit and they left. So, fuck you. You didn't do shit to me. That's gotta be the worst swatting of all time. Worst swatting of all time, you suck. Florida man arrested after allegedly performing botched castration surgery. The suspect, 74 year old Gary Van Ruswick, said he met a victim on a eunuch fetish website. What? Yeah. So the funny thing about this, there's, uh, you know, there's not that much funny about a guy cutting another guy's dick off. But the funny thing about this is the sheriff's department who arrested him roasted his ass. Man charged after botched castration. And this is from the official sheriff's department. This isn't some funny news website. This one is a little, let's just say sensitive. You could even say it's kind of nuts. <laughs> just before midnight on Sunday, August 18th, the deputy responded to a home on Orday Road and Sebrig, Seabrig after a 9-11 hang up. These are pretty routine and deputies respond to many of them per shift, but most of them don't make the cut when it comes to being memorable. Oh, <laughs> this one will definitely hang around in the memory for a while. When the deputy arrived and knocked on the door, it was answered by 74 year old Gary Van Riswick. He told the deputy he had just performed a castration on a man and to say the least, Van Riswick had dropped the ball on this one. <laughs> As, as, like I said, this is still a sheriff's department like website. This is an official sheriff's department. Deputies found the man on the towel on the bed with a towel over his groin, which was bleeding heavily. Nearby, there was a pink container which held two body parts that had recently been much closer to the victim. The victim was taken to the hospital and was later flown to regional medical center. He's listed in a stable condition. The room was set up like a surgical center, center with medical equipment and painkillers. There was also a camera set up to record the procedure. Van Riswick told deputies he had met the victim on a website on the dark web web called eunuch.com. Click that link at your own risk. I can't believe the sheriff's department put the link there, which is for people who have a castration fetish. So this isn't a site to meet people who are eunuchs. This is a site to make people eunuchs. It's probably both. You can probably oh. see people who are castrated, but also meet people who are castrated. Yes, you can meet people and then castrate them. You know, you don't have to be lonely at noballsanddick.com. He told the victim that he had exper experience on animals and had even removed one of his own testicles in 2012. <laughs> oh. I'm not clicking the link. Chat saying, click the link, click the link. No. <laughs> I'm good there, okay. guys. I'm good there. <laughs> he told deputies he had tried to perform the procedure on a victim a week earlier, but when he tried to sanitize the area, something came up, so the procedure had to be delayed. He also <laughs> said he had done a similar procedure on a man in a local motel a few years ago that turned out pretty much like this one, but couldn't remember the other man's name. It was just a routine 911 hangup. They probably freaked out because the guy was bleeding to death out of his weird, you know, his his dick hole where there was a penis at oh. one time. And so they freaked out and called the police and hung up because they got scared. So I think the problem is this guy's probably, probably pretty good at like castrating people now, but he's just not so good at cauterizing them. Does castration involve just the beans or is it the Frank as well? I think it's just the beans. Generally refers to a man typically from antiquity who had been castrated in order to serve a specific social function. The top question on Google is what is a eunuch missing? And it says oh. testicles removed. When a male has both his testicles and his penis removed, the term is emasculation. Eunuch is balls, emasculate, emasculation is Frank and beans. He was arrested and charged with practicing medicine without a license resulting in bodily injury, a second degree felony. His bond was set to $250,000. Wow, a crazy snippet from Florida. Pretty ballsy if you ask me. He'd never make the cut as a real surgeon. Guess oh. his secret is out of the bag now. Wonder if he'll be charged as a jewel thief. <laughs> I'll see myself out. I imagine the patient screaming, you nicked an artery. We should not king shame him. Uh. <laughs> this guy looks like my big brother. It's Jesse James' dog, the motorcycle guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the dog was lost for a month. It was stuck inside of a home, a vacant home for a month. Fake cop pulls over a van full of real detectives. <laughs> <laughs> I think if, if he pulled me over, 
and I wasn't a cop, I probably would think he is a cop if he had he a police he, vest. He does. He's got a he cop face. Right. He does. He's got a cop haircut. He's, he's got that arresting cop face. A Nassau County man impersonating a police officer got more than he bargained for when he tried to pull over a van Friday morning. The van was full of real detectives. 25-year-old Valeri Portlock was driving a black Nissan Sentra when he activated his air horn and emergency lights in an attempt to pull over a van. Well, I mean, there's your first clue. It's a Nissan oh, black Sentra. black Nissan Sentra. Okay, I, <laughs> that back. I would not have thought he was a police officer. Yeah, you, you know all the detectives were like sitting in there and they turned around and looked and they instantly <laughs> knew. Van occupied by Nassau County electronic squad detectives while stopped in traffic, identified themselves and approached his vehicle. He fled the scene, swerved into oncoming traffic and refused to stop. <laughs> Highway Patrol officers were notified and soon spotted him. They placed him under arrest without incident after initiating traffic stop. Ah, oh, crap, the, the stream's still called I'm Moist. I meant to name it Leo Recap. <laughs> it is called I'm Moist, I just It's realized. called I'm Moist. That's funny, it's a stream called I'm Moist and then people were jumping in as I'm talking about cutting a guy's dingling off. Six elderly people arrested after allegedly having sex in public Park. Six Connecticut seniors were arrested after police say they caught the group allegedly having sex in a public park. Nothing like a good old elderly orgy. According to the Associated Press, the ages of the arrested seniors ranged between 62 and 85. They probably had to buy one of those 50 gallon drums of lube from Amazon. Oh. Police in Fairfield, Connecticut said the spot the seniors were caught in was advertised in a city hookup guide as a place for people to meet up and have sex. Could you imagine if you were like a younger person just like wanting to hook up and you see this, this city hookup guide? And you go there and and you run into this. Yeah, you run into your grandma. Nana, no! All right, show of hands. Who's walked in on their grandparents doing the dirty? I know someone in here has. I never have. The officers set up surveillance in the area, which is how they caught the seniors and several other people, authorities say. The group of six seniors consisted of five men and an 85-year-old woman. Oh, that's that, that's even worse than what I was thinking. I was thinking of like oh, couples and then the odd dude. man. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Five old worse. men were running a train on an... 85 year old woman i always shit on british police not because i think they're bad at their job it's just they're it's you know they're rivals we got to make fun of them and they recently had that picture in my last leo recap where they had the furries on leashes oh not furries they were like bondage furries they weren't exactly furry furries they were yeah, they yeah. were they were gimp dogs i they guess were. i think they've completely redeemed themselves with this video though there's a weird noise going on in the video when you start it um sorry if i completely ear rape anyone God. leather puppies oh oh i bet that's the correct term that sounds about right leather puppies you got some i don't know if they were bank robbers i don't know what they were but they're the guys on the motorcycles who try to escape right here and these cops these uh plainclothes cops and two cars roll up run them over and beat the dog shit out of them check this out my door my door boom Look, they got batons out. They just start welling on them. Oh my god! I never knew an Audi could knock down some of the motorcycles. Right, from control, two targets detained at the scene. Two targets detained at the scene. This one's kind of cool. I actually spoke with an attorney about this one today. A top NASA astronaut is accused of hacking her estranged spouse's bank account from space. So, Chocolate, I ask you, where would the jurisdiction fall? For that oh, space force bro i gotta go with space force <laughs> it would have to be the space to. force right for those of you who are unfamiliar mm -hmm. with how these things work usually the crime is investigated by the jurisdiction of where it was committed i spoke with an attorney about this today a friend of mine his name is trey nance if you need an attorney around the charlotte area he's an amazing guy what do you say uh, he said it probably would have to go to federal court in all seriousness since it's technically interstate and it involves banks. However, if she's still active duty, or even not, since she's a commissioned officer, she could be subject to the UCMJ. I picked this one to talk about because I've seen Chocolate uh, handle this situation perfectly, <laughs> perfectly fine in a pretty hilarious manner. He's a robbery suspect, and they're trying to get him in a car, and they're going about the most stupid way to do it. Yeah. Why are you pulling 
They are just going about it in the, oh. the worst way possible. Oh, they're trying to put them in. I thought they were trying to pull them out. No, they're trying to put them in feet first, though. <laughs> well, we... Look, it's two minutes long. They wrestle with this guy. So you got three fully grown men yes. and a female officer, and they can't get one guy in the car. Yeah, look. It goes on for two minutes. Chocolate had a guy like this one time. Uh, there was a foot chase, and you chased him through the woods, and then he didn't mm -hmm. want to get in the car. And so he was like, I'm not getting in your car. And he was standing up with his back to the back seat. That was the, the police car. The door was open. And I'm in the car behind him. And I look up and I see the guy standing there like, I'm not going to get in this car. I'm not going to get in this car. And suddenly he disappears into the car backwards. Chocolate's big ass went around to the other side and grabbed his handcuffs and just... <laughs> <laughs> and jerked his ass right into the car. They never know what's coming. Didn't see it coming at all. And it was so funny watching it from behind because the guy just disappeared. I commented on this and I said, um, make him sit down by jamming some fingers into his jugular notch while your partner pulls the cuffs from the other side. You're going to make me chase you? And then you're going to make me chase you into the woods? Mess up my new boots? And you're going to tell me you're not going to sit in the car? Man, just swallow your pride at that point. You know, you got yeah. caught. Just get in the car. Oh, did you see this one? The Lancaster deputy made up, the California deputy made up a story about being shot by a sniper. I had like the whole department scrambled, SWAT team. Everybody's looking for the sniper. The California Sheriff's deputy at the center of what was described as a sniper shooting admitted he made it all up. There was no sniper, no shots fired, and no gunshot injuries sustained to his shoulder. It was a Deputy Angel uh, Reynosa, 21 years old, so he's like fresh fresh deputy said he was shot while walking to his car outside the sheriff's station in Lancaster. The bullet came from a four story apartment building across the street that houses people with mental health problems. Mayor R. Rex Paris said at the time, adding that a bullet vest saved his life by deflecting the bullet into his shoulder. He was taken to the hospital where he was treated for minor non penetrating wound and that a pellet gun was retrieved from the apartment. He said he fabricated the entire incident but did not provide a motive. Why do you think you could get away with that? Especially if there's not a bullet wound in your shoulder? What was he trying to get a purple heart or something? Oh, Massive manhunt. They had like, you know, of course all the all the uh, surrounding departments and agencies exactly. were on it too. Exactly, not just his department, all the surrounding departments. Yeah, and all their SWAT teams, and they probably called people in who were, you know, who were off duty and- Oh yeah, that guy's going to jail. Do you remember what we traded five bucks in a Burger King coupon for? Mr. Chocolate? Ugh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day we'll be able to tell all these stories. I came across a really funny Reddit thread, and I haven't read it. <laughs> I haven't read it. I haven't read it since I found it. Cops of Reddit. What's the most bullshit sounding excuse you got that actually turned out to be true? I had a domestic in progress I was responding to during Christmas Day, and the excuse for them fighting was, we're not mad at each other. We're just upset because we wanted to surprise the kids for Christmas. We got some deer, dressed them up. Now they're destroying our house. Turns out there was literally three fully grown white-tailed deer in the house, somehow dressed with full bell harnesses like Santa's reindeer. I had to call the game wardens down, who were then able to help me remove the deer from the property without injury to us or them. How they managed to get the deer and dress them up is still a mystery to this day. You think they tranquilized them, then dressed them up, and then like left them in the house? Thought they were going to be all <laughs> docile and shit? I don't see how else you would. <laughs> You would get clothes on a deer. They probably woke up and started destroying the damn house, and that's when they called police. I pulled over a guy when I first started, and um, I hadn't gotten any like hard drug bust. I'd got some weed here and there. He had powder all over the front of his shirt, and he was shaking, like super nervous. And I was like, "Oh shit, I've got I've, I've got a cocaine arrest coming my way." <laughs> I talked to him. I was like, "Dude, what's the white powder on your shirt?" He was like, "I was eating a powdered donut." <laughs> And I'm, like, oh, I'm yeah, thinking in my head, I'm like, nah, bullshit, man. You've been you've been doing some blow and you're out here driving around. He was like super nervous. He was shaking. It turns out he really did eat a powdered donut. He had the receipt from QT in his pocket. Oh man, so, what if it was what if it was booger sugar and he carries that that receipt the around, receipt just, around? To, just to trick us? <laughs> he goes to QT every day and buys a powdered donut just to have the yes. receipt in his pocket. Just in case he gets pulled over. Dude, it's genius. It is genius. He oh, my probably God. like puts it inside the donut pack and everything. All right, I need to remember that. What if he sprinkles it on the donut? <laughs> Dad is an officer and he pulled someone over for speeding and running a red light and they said their breast implant burst. 
He called EMS to rush into the hospital and turned out it did, and it's actually very dangerous if they leak. Do you know why I pulled you over? My boob exploded. Not a cop, family friend was, pulled a guy over who was speeding profusely. Guy was obviously disheveled. He said he was headed to the hospital because he had a tick on his penis. Cop was confused, but he escorted him there, then waited in the lobby to check on him to see if he was blowing smoke. After a while, he asked the desk what was going on and why it took so long to take a tick off his penis. Her reply, it wasn't on it, it was in it. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe he was part of a fetish group on the dark web. That's what I'm thinking. Kind of like that gerbling thing. But yeah. He's using a tick. <laughs> How else would you know there's Penis a tick? Penisticks.com. Specifically a tick in your penis. My first ever real calls for a flasher at the local park. When I got there and finally found him, it was a mentally impaired young man, 16 to 17, who had a pair of headphones on. I said, hey man, come here. What the hell is going on? You know, you have to keep your pants on, especially at the park. He goes on to tell me he had a bad itching down his pants and couldn't take it anymore. So he had to rip his pants off and was running home to get help. I said, come on, you couldn't make it home first? He said, no, I had ants in my pants. It's sure as shit. According to more than one witness account, he had been sitting in a sandbox playing at the park and accidentally on a nest of red ants had crawled up his pants legs. That's how you get a tick in your dick right there. Would you like to know what my first call was out of FTO by myself? A guy got shot in the stomach four times. Crack deal gone bad. The guy that shot him had a colostomy bag from where he got shot in a crack deal. Oh, that's messed up. You want to get somebody else a colostomy bag because you right? don't know. When I was 18, I was on a double date with a friend and we stepped out of a restaurant to smoke. A cop came up and started harassing us, telling us that there had been break-ins and cars in the area. Eventually, he said he needed to pat us down and he pulled out a brown paper bag out of my friend's pocket. He got a smug look on his face and asked, so what's in here, huh? My friend said the Emancipation Proclamation with a completely straight face. The cop opened the bag, pulled out a small booklet, got embarrassed, and let us go. My friend had been to the Lincoln Museum earlier that day and did actually have a small copy of the Emancipation Proclamation <laughs> in his pocket. Machete, oh, did you guys see this one? Danny Trejo arrested Good. a baby yes. trapped in an overturned yeah, car. You say he arrested a baby trapped in an overturned Did car? I say that? Did I say arrested? <laughs> Daddy Trejo arrested a fucking baby. Oh, we all knew that like, Machete was crazy. He just kicked the window out and took the baby in custody. He doing it. flipping his car over baby. Florida man used toddler as human shield from police dogs. Wait, that's for real? Bro, Florida man like is such an asshole sometimes. Uh, before you ban me, Twitch, this isn't a woman giving a guy head on the side of the road. That is not what that is. Police received multiple calls this morning, beginning at 11.22 a.m. about a man carrying around a topless, unconscious woman on the west side of downtown. Caller said he looked like he wanted to throw her over the bridge, dropped her on the sidewalk, and drug her head over a curb, had slung her over his shoulder, and that he appeared to be trying to dress her. One said he was yelling, Savior! while holding the woman on 12th Street. Multiple officers responded quickly. They found the man, and what they encountered was a totally was totally unexpected. The woman was actually a life-size female doll. The man said he found in the dumpster of a restaurant. He oh. carried her to the woods. The called notes incident said he was told not to carry it around in public anymore. Police officer rescues skunk from yogurt cup and gets sprayed. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's not going to know you're helping him, man. He's terrified right now. He can't see nothing with that on his head. Call animal control, like you said, man. He hears these huge footsteps. He thinks you're a predator. Why would you do that? Oh, oh. he just he arched almost his back. The curve. He's, yeah, he's getting ready. Oh, man. Oh, you... oh. Oh no, why would you do that? No, man? no, no, no. Oh, oh. oh he's ah. near the business. Ah. Oh no. You can't oh, it get got him. It spray, got him. Man. It it's got him. You gassed him. For years now, people are gonna leave like stuffed skunk toys and shit in his in his locker and like around the department and <laughs> it's on like all his duty gear now too. In the crevices. I think it was my nan always told me like tomato tomato juice. bath yeah yeah like you got to take a bath in tomato juice That's but like does that mean juice. you got to take your glock and like throw it in a <laughs> in a pot of tomato juice and your duty belt and like everything else make some guacamole someone said shoot it off of his head i think i would have taken that route yeah or either but at least baton at least like try and give it a little tap and run give it a little tap and run taser 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 <laughs> we just had florida man use a child as a shield to what? keep police dogs back florida woman dies after holding hostages and biting off part of a child's finger. She had a gun and a baseball bat. Yo, she was going ham. A Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office incident report says that Kenesha Rhodes arrived at the apartment near Tampa Tuesday night. She pointed the gun at her former roommates and kept them from leaving. A fight broke out and officials say she bit off part of a child's finger. When deputies arrived, she was being restrained by someone at the apartment. Deputies handcuffed her and she fell ill. That would be a hell of a report to write.
That would be. You can call CID in for that one. She brings a baseball bat and a gun to an apartment, holds people hostage, fights with them, bites a child's finger off, and then she dies. Shotgun rifle stolen after Clinton Township police cruiser broken into. <laughs> Someone broke into the police cruiser. Oh, and man. Stole the so shotgun and the rifle. Man broke into Oregon home with cat arrested wearing homeowner's Christmas onesie. <laughs> what? what? Wait, what does the cat have to do with it, though, I wonder? He broke into the home with the cat. Oh, was the cat already in the home? Cat? It reads like he broke into the home with the cat. Like he threw the cat through a window. Then Oh, it does sound like Then that. got it into the home. Or he taught the cat to pick locks. Or so he, he made himself at home by trying on a onesie. Got it. Eating a cupcake and making coffee. A homeowner told public they returned home and noticed damaged items that didn't belong to them. They said they found a cat wearing a shirt in the crawl space beneath the home. What? what? So he broke into the home and then he put a shirt on the cat and put it in the crawl space? Why would you do that spaghetti. to spaghetti? Bro, you need to make a, a comic book called Bishop and Spaghetti. A man in Miami seemed to be trying to clear his name this week when he presented himself to police as someone who had his gun stolen recently. But the event took a surprising turn when police realized he was the man they suspected in a high-profile shooting over the summer. Well, yeah. What was his angle there? Was he just going to be like, oh, yeah, it went missing. Oh, I don't know... Uh, it's I don't know if it's been used in any crime since then. <laughs> yeah. I don't know <laughs> I what happened like to, to it. Report my uh, murder gun stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Florida man wildly swings sword at jogger and fight over trash. All right. I'm Googling Florida man trash sword. Let's see what happens. Hey, man. Ain't, ain't nobody getting my trash. Oh. Oh, shit. He just pulled a genre. katana out. Oh, oh, my God. oh fuck. No, dude. Yo, what that no, let your trash can. Wrong. Yeah, fucking go back inside and get a He's gun. Like, yeah, He's trying to chop my arm off. An Oakland Park man attacked a jogger with a sword in an attempt to protect a plastic dump cart that had been thrown out in the trash. It started when the runner stumbled upon a pile of garbage in front of a house and decided to grab the black heavy-duty wagon. That's when the rabble rouser, oh my God, they said that, got upset no because he wanted the cart. The two exchanged words, but the jogger took the item anyways. When he got home, he realized the litter lover had followed him. Oh, did you see that? He he feigned a, a swipe just to grab the bin right here. The first one. Look, watch. He feigned it, and then he grabbed the bin. 